Let's solve this rational equation. The left-hand side of the equation is a fraction of quartic polynomials of x. They have a clear pattern. The trick is to simplify the polynomials in a clever way. The numerator of the left-hand side has four factors, x, x plus 1, x plus 2, and x plus 3. They are separated into two groups, the first factor x and the last one x plus 3 in one group, and the second and the third factors are in another group. You will see the reason right away. The first group equals a quadratic polynomial x squared plus 3x. The second group equals x squared plus 3x plus 2. Both quadratic polynomials contain x squared plus 3x. That is the reason of the grouping. The average of the two quadratic polynomials is x squared plus 3x plus 1. So, the first factor can be rewritten x x squared plus 3x plus 1 minus 1. And the second part becomes x squared plus 3x plus 1 plus 1. This is a type of a minus b times a plus b. It ends up with x squared plus 3x plus 1 squared minus 1 squared. Similarly, for the denominator, group the first and the last factors x minus 7 and x minus 1. The second and the third factor form another group. We have x squared minus 8x plus 7 times x squared minus 8x plus 15. Both quadratic polynomials contain x squared minus 8x. The average of 7 and 15 is 11. So it can be rewritten as x squared minus 8x plus 11 minus 4 times x squared minus 8x plus 11 plus 4. It ends up with x squared minus 8x plus 11 squared minus 4 squared. Plug in the original equation. Both the numerator and the denominator are differences of squares. Cross multiplication 16 times the numerator equals 1 times the denominator. Can throw out negative 16. We have perfect squares on both sides. This is equivalent to two quadratic equations. They have four roots two complex numbers and two real roots, negative seven and one third. Thanks for watching.